Hey guys, this is Linda Starr here, and I just wanted to check in. Um, I know it's been a while um, since my last post, but there's just been a lot of racial injustices happening. The world is literally turned upside down now uh, because of all the recent killings. You know, rest in peace, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and George Floyd. Um, especially with George Floyd, his his funeral was uh, recently, and I feel like his death literally like lit the match that set the world on fire because this is literally the first time that we're experiencing a movement that's like global. Like some people are even saying that this is bigger than the civil rights movement, which is crazy because literally all fifty states you see protests and um thankfully i was able to um attend um one of the po the peaceful protests and the energy was i could just say incredible like people were giving out snacks people are giving out masks gloves supplies everything and the energy was just so warm welcoming and compassionate you saw all races and all backgrounds just come together to show solidarity uh, the protest that i did was um the one at uh cabin plaza so after um terence floyd uh, george floyd's uh relative he came out and spoke and you know there were different chants going on like you know no justice no peace um peace on the left hand you know justice on the right and we were literally marching across the Brooklyn Bridge to Foley Square, which where we continued our, you know, we continued the protest. And the experience overall was just incredible. And to just be part of history was really monumental. And there's just been a lot of emotions that's been like uprooted, especially in my community. Um, even all across the world in South Africa, you see people protesting and um, in Belgium and Germany and France, London. It's, it's a worldwide thing and it's a worldwide crisis. And it's not and it's not just a black thing. Yes, black lives do matter. And, but it's like it's, it's a humanity issue and it's been going on for far too long. And I'm just glad that there's been some progress made um a lot of people are saying like oh what are the protests for you know there's barely anything happening but no there's progress being made for example um now juneteenth is you know claimed as a as a national holiday as it should national paid holiday for, uh, for different companies so that's a step forward there's laws that's been passed or, or will be passed, um, especially to, um, to to remove, um, I forgot what it's called, but um, you know, like the no knock, um, you know, the no knock policy, which you know, unfortunately ended um, Breonna Taylor's life, and you know, I I feel like a lot of the policies that that are being enforced or which should be enforced are definitely necessary, you know, to prevent another life from you know being ended in that way so tragically it's like you know it's 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 really it's really a shame because you all of the the news and all of the images they get so overwhelming and it's like now like we need justice we need justice it's it's time it's time it's time for these you know officers to be held accountable for their actions and for their you know, for their hatred and you know, against like marginalizing, you know, black people. Like we're human too. Like we are human, and it's it's been far too long that black people have been treated as animals. Literally four hundred years. You know, we went endured slavery, and you know another thing that that really gets me is uh, is. Not only institutionalized racism, but also generational ra ra racism. So that racism, those ide ideologies have been passed down from generation to generation. And it's just like, it, it, it's really sad. It's just time for 
people to be educated, especially, you know, white people, you know, about, about this topic, about racism, because a lot of, a lot of, you know, non people of color feel that, you know, we're, we're living in a post racial society, which is not the case. This year is literally shown the most racism, especially, you know, in the workforce, especially, you know, with like this so many like microaggressions. And for example, the hair discrimination law was was recently passed. And I did a um, an article about that for her agenda, literally to abolish the discrimination of 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 natural hair like literally there was a time where like i couldn't even walk in the the office with my hair looking like this because it was deemed as unprofessional or deemed as you know of deemed as as ghetto like there, there were even times where i felt ashamed to rock braids because braids wasn't seemed as wasn't looked as a as a professional look as a professional style so i'm glad that you know there's different steps that's being taken to, you know, enforce the change and it's necessary. So, um, I just came to just share my thoughts really briefly about just doing what you can. I know a lot of people, you know, aren't really comfortable about being on the front lines and, and marching because, you know, there's a lot of different things that's going on. Sometimes there's looting and, but I honestly, I feel like, Look, look, we've been angry for so long. Of course, looting's gonna happen. You know that that's just another way for people to express their trauma. But what I don't agree with is um, a lot of times the there would be like a lot of times the 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 looting would be staged, so it wouldn't be like a like someone from like Black Lives Matter. Like it'll be you know s someone who's a white supremacist. You know, just like doing that to make it seem as if Black Lives Matter is doing that, which is not the case. So you guys look that up. All, all I'm really advocating for is peace and and just unity. We we need unity in this world, but you know that's not gonna happen unless we we enforce change and you know and and things really turn around for for the greater good. So I just wanted to share my thoughts really briefly. Thank you guys for visiting my page and um, you can like, comment and subscribe. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to hit me up and I'll see you guys later.